Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome back to my Dan's uh, Diaries Reflection Vlog. As I said, I can't rewatch the episodes. So we're going through the episodes from the wiki listed on the wiki page and uh, I'm giving you my details of what I remember as well as what the story says. So last time we did Winning the Lottery, Remaking Movie, Favourite Colour, Being God and Christmas Part 1, Dan's Diary. Which, not Diary, Dictionary, which is the first which are episodes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Next we've got 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. We've got Christmas Part 2, Santa Cyborg, New Year's Resolutions, Bob is Dead, Dan's Novel and Fana Final. So Christmas Part 2, Santa Cyborg, Sam meet, sorry, Dan meets Sam. Now this episode, a Chris Tracy played a character called Sam the Cyborg that Liam brought in as a present for Dan to be a new friend. But Sam doesn't like Christmas. He doesn't like anything in the world and he makes Dan depressed so... Liam has to ask him to leave, and Dan asks Liam if he's, he's, if Liam's his friend, and Liam says no, but then he wishes him happy Christmas. Okay, the last bit, Liam is Dan's friend, I don't know what they were thinking when writing that. But the rest of it's pretty funny, with Chris Tracy as Sam the Cyborg being a depressed version of Dan, it's pretty much his direct opposite. <laughs> and not too similar, different to Marvin, the paranoid robot. Uh, from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but when they t uh, turned him into the depressed robot in the movie. Um, so he was a bit like the, that version of Marvin. Instead of being paranoid, he was depressed, so they kind of took inspiration from that. Um, as well as being the complete opposite to Dan. That was a good one. I'm not scoring these, by the way. I forgot to do the last one anyway. Uh, okay, I'll quickly score the other ones, I think. One would be a seven, two would be a seven, three would be a five, four would be a seven, five would be a five, no, seven. Six would be a seven, again, this was a good one. Number seven is Dark Revelations. Dan doesn't do New Year new resolutions. Wait, he does. I don't remember much of this one, I just know at the end, Sam the Cyborg comes back in and throws a snowball at them, and then he runs off, being chased by Dan. Six out of ten. It, it was a funny scene. I just don't remember the rest of it. I'm sure he does some New Year's resolutions. Flowering is probably funny there for the sake of it. Number eight. Bob is dead. Dan mourns in special ways. Um, this is probably after New Year, new member. Um, Bob is dead and Dan pretty much talks about the way, possible other ways of Bob dying. Such as a reference to... Uh, back, back references to Back to the Future and Life on Mars. Or... Life on Mars and uh, Ashes to Ashes mixed together. I, something such as like this also appears in the last episode of Mighty Gizmo, um, or it's mentioned, it's brought up. Number nine, Dan's novel. Dan has an idea for a piece of fiction. I don't remember this one. I just know that Dan wrote, writes a book. Six, six out of ten, uh, and Bob is dead. Seven. 8 out of 10, it's fun, it's funny. And the last one is Final, which has a clip from Best Kept Secret. Dan celebrates his, this final episode. Somehow he knew it was going to be the last one, he, I guess he was just saying goodbye. And, and I think at the start he says he would not die unless he got shot. And at the end he's like, oh well I'm sure we got a prosperous future or something along those lines. And then we see the Best Kept Secret clip where he gets shot. Uh, overall, 6 out of 10. So Dan's diaries are fun little adventurous uh, things, but it's easily the weaker of the two spin-offs. Um, we can agree it's the weakest of the two spin-offs. And whilst enjoyable, and it's great to see more of Sebi Tracy and Dan the Cyborg after his sad departure in Best Kept Secret. But before we get to the big series three stuff, it is nice. But and we get to see more of Dan's life between first. Earth's Guardians and Best Kept Secret. Like we did with Stan the Cyborg with his life between uh, re between Dark Revelations and uh, or up to the Chris up to the Christmas one up be between Dark Revelations and New Member and then the last one being between uh, Redemption of Mortis and the musical but on his own. But overall Dan's diaries are they're, they're fun, they're enjoyable, some great animation from John Granston, but they're not brilliant. 
they're all right. I think the best one is probably the Bob's Dead one, and that's probably the most... Well, I thought this one would be U-rated, like Dan's, uh, Dan the Cyborg, the main series. However, upon reflection and before they were taken down with rewatches, I think some of them, like the Bob's Dead one, would probably get PG uh, shown. Mm. It's good, but... It's just not brilliant. Um, but... If, when they get posted back up, I do recommend them. If you've seen them, I'm, I hope you enjoyed. So that's it from Dan's Diaries. Uh, I'll just read the episodes again one more time, because why not? Okay, one, winning the lottery. Two, remaking a movie. Three, favourite colour. Four, being God. Five, Christmas one. Sorry, Christmas part one, Dan's Dictionary. Six, Christmas part two, Sam the Cyborg. Seven, New Year's Re Resolutions. Eight, Pop is Dead. Nine, Dan's Duff Novel. And ten, Finale. Or Final. That's it from Dan's Diaries. Next time we will be looking at which one should we go with first? The Lone Flower Alien, the game, or Chasing Flowers? Uh, let's go with the Lone Flower Alien. There's more to talk about with that one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.